Hey everyone, how's it going? Jason from Digital Block here. I'm gonna go over our next AC build. This one will actually be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your own AC enclosure. This time it is for a type C connection, five volt specifically, not overvolting. We're gonna use the sense cap and we're gonna show you how to build a single fan. You can also build a dual fan with this version. So, let's dive into it. But first, a word from our sponsor. Bring more than just total body fuel. It's total push yourself beyond the limits, ain't nothing gonna hold you back fuel. From nine to five or five to nine, more than just a pick me up. Focus, boost, hydrate, recover. This is Rain, total body fuel. Now that we got that out of the way, let's dive into how do we start building one of these. All right, some of the initial parts for the build. We got a little one foot LMR cable here, uh, N type male to reverse polarity SMA male. Stuff to need to build your box here. You buy a gantry box. We've marked some stuff on here and pre drilled some holes, which we'll go over in just a little bit, but you need your gantry box. And just so you know, all these parts are listed down below, Amazon links to easily get a hold of everything that you see here. Uh, you're gonna need a PoE splitter, five volt, with a type C connector male on one end. Just a small little ethernet, cat five or greater. Don't do cat eight. Uh, we got here is an ethernet uh, port for your gantry box. Comes with a nice little cap keep it secured and it's taking forever to unscrew but ethernet goes in there comes out inside right there uh, it's IP7 IP67 rating same thing but this one is for your cable so if you get the one with the RPSMA you can actually thread that through it goes through and then you screw this down and it will seal it in place Right here is our PoE power adapter. So this is what introduces the power into the ethernet. We got a, our thermo trigger, which I love these things to death. So we've got a thermal trigger right here. This is the thermometer. It also comes with a small bag of hardware and the zip and plates to hold the thermometer in place. You can literally just toss the bolts out with the box. You don't need that. You're gonna hold on to all this stuff you see right here. Next, you will need a shroud. This is to prevent rain and other debris from entering in the hole that you're gonna end up cutting into your case. Something to mount to a pipe. If you're gonna be mounted to a pipe, uh, if you're not going to mount it to a pipe and you're going to mount it to a wall, then you can literally just choose a different adapter or bolt it directly to the wall. And then you will need your fans. This is the set that we suggest on here. To be honest, it comes with a lot of extra, but a lot of good stuff. So it comes with a dual USB throttling uh, RPM controller, two USB powered pans, fans comes with a screwdriver and screws and rubber feet you don't need any of the rubber feet and you only need half of the screws in here so and then we got gardening wire oh yeah uh, I like to use this stuff because it's cheap um, and it's to hold the miner in place it makes it super easy to get through the grill and uh, it does the job perfect. All right, now that we've gone over everything, let's get into this. First step with our gantry box, we're gonna cut out a couple holes. For this job, you're gonna need a power drill. We use a 7 8 spade bit. We're gonna line up, we're gonna measure one inch down, one inch across, drill center. For the other port, we're gonna do one and a quarter inch from the side and one and a half to one and three quarter inch in depth. This hole is at one and uh, five eighths, I believe. 
And next, the big hole is this guy right here. So you may wonder, how do we figure out this exact position? I'm glad you asked. Check this out. We designed the perfect placement for where your flan, uh, fan shroud is going to be. So this outline right here is actually the edge of your case. You lay it over. You have to cut out the circle, but then you can just trace this over and get the perfect circle. And if you want to do a dual fan, then you just bump it down to the edge of the paper right here, where that line is at. Draw a second circle, and then you got your dual fan layout. Also guys, um, I think I forgot to mention, this will be available for download uh, on our website. So again, you can follow the links down below in this video. You'll be able to find this, download it, print it out at full scale, and you'll be able to have your own template for your fan shroud. The next part comes into cutting this out. This can be tricky if you guys aren't used to it. Uh, first, um, you would drill a hole in here right by the edge and then preferably you will get a jigsaw and then just cut around the edges. And then you might take a file, clean up the edge, and then you're all done. So if you do that, it's gonna roughly look like this. So this takes us to our next step. First one, we wanna prepare a case, which is drilling all the three holes. Second, we want to prepare our plate. Now what is the plate you may ask? That's the what's in the center and the bottom of your case right here. So we're gonna screw this, pull this out. So what these little wires are for, we're basically just gonna get it ready to hold the miner. And we're gonna keep it off to the side for right now. So we're gonna insert a couple of those guys. I'm just gonna leave it off to the side. Got all of our bolts out. Perfect. So when it comes to these guys right here, it might be hard to see. These are really simple. There's a little nut that goes on the back. You're just gonna do one of these, pop it through the hole, insert this on the other side, screw it down. So you're gonna attach your bottom one. And then for this one, your cable gland don't worry about this, you can sort of keep this off if you want. But you're going to pop this one through and make sure on these that you remember to tighten from the uh, nut on the back. Don't tighten from the front because when you, can do, when you do that, you can actually screw up this rubber gasket right here that creates that, uh, that seal that prevents moisture and water from coming in. We're going to go over the fan. So on these fans, I don't know if you'll be able to see right where the cord comes from, you'll notice there's some writing there that shows you the direction of the airflow. So airflow is going to be coming from here. If we're doing a single fan one, we're going to want to do exhaust only. So I want to take the nuts off the back of my shroud. I want to take one of these guys. This is what I found to help keep dust from coming in. So this is actually not really needed on exhaust, but for intake, it would definitely be helpful. So you pop out the four corners. I already have one of these done, but I want to show you how it all goes together. So I hold this here. I'm going to get a couple of these screws out from this bag. nice thing about the screwdriver, it just fits perfectly right through. So we're putting it through. We're going to screw this through just so it peeks out on the other side. And then we can pop one of those filters on. One of those smaller mesh grills. Now 
I got two on. So you see, you just repeat the process, add all your screws through, and then you're gonna screw it onto the back nut of the shroud fan. So if you see here, this is the nut for the shroud. Back side is covered, but the front side has holes. You'll be able to put your screws directly into there. You wanna leave a small space though. Don't screw it all the way down. This is so it can create enough tension right here for the thickness of the plastic. If you do the fan all the way to the nut, it actually won't hold this as tight. It will have a small standoff. Now take this guy. Position them how we want. Nuts on nice and straight. There we go. And we're going to tighten him down. Nice and tight. There we go. Once that's done, you can connect the fan into the top of your temperature gauge. This will end up going into your splitter. This right here is your thermometer. We're going to peel off that 3M sticky part. We're going to put it in this upper corner right here. Press and hold for 30 seconds is to make sure that adhesive bond is solid. And then what I do here, I undo this wire, I take exactly what I need, and I'll plug it into the base. So let's plug it into the base. So now I got all this laying around right here, right? So we got our sense cap on here. It's held in place, it's not going anywhere. I want to make sure this black wire is underneath, mostly centered. I want to put this plate over it, and it's going to hide the wire underneath the plate. So I might have to fidangle and move it around a little bit. That way everything's even. Once it gets settled, I then have all that wire hidden and out of the way. That won't affect the upper breathability of this case. Using a magnetic screwdriver makes things a whole lot easier. Right. Set. All right. All we got left is one loose USB cable. That's how it looks. Next. We are going to go into setting up our hotspot. So we got our PoE splitter right here. I'm going to take my one foot ethernet cable. Plug. There we go. Plug it into our case. Good. I'm going to plug in ethernet. And if you had a splitter at this point, this is where you would attach the splitter back to the hotspot and to your USB to power your thermometer. At this point, we're just going to connect it to our sense cap. So there we go. You can find a creative way of placing this. Use some double stick tape to keep it out of the way. Just let it hang loose. Really, it is your preference on this point. Next, the final part of putting this miner together is the cord. Just gonna loosen up the cap up here, thread this through, and I'll keep it nice and set up. If you need a little bit more space, you can wiggle the miner over, and then you tighten her down. I like to finger tighten this, never use tools to tighten it. That way it allows you to feel that right amount of tightness, because you don't want to over tighten it. So once you get this guy set, you can tighten this top knot down as tight as you can. That way it creates that nice, tight seal. 
you don't have to worry about anything getting in. And that's it guys, that is your enclosure for your type C. Um, and for your sense cap, rack miner, whatever you need. So let's talk a little bit about design here. So these guys thankfully come with a built-in fan for it. They have exhaust that pushes air out down through the bottom. They have a vent here, they also have vents on the bottom. Really heat rises. So when you place this, you really want to put the miner towards the base of the case because the coolest air will be down here and the heat will rise up to the top. So this becomes your pocket of warm air. Hence why you have an exhaust fan at the top because it pulls all the hot air out and shoots it out. If you wanted to run a dual fan enclosure, you would have another one of these fans set right here. Your, mom, uh, your thermometer placed a little farther off and you would use uh, the splitter that both of your USBs can go into. Let me see if I can find that. So this little guy. So if that was the case. You plug both your fans into this thing. That guy would be set there. You have this keyed off somewhere else. And however you want to do your cable management, but everything would live, all your entire AC unit will live nicely in this area. Well, this region stays clean. Uh, and ready to fire so you have easy access to your sense cap and your miner at any point in time Close this guy up There you go That's the end of this build guys if you like it leave us a comment um, If you want to see more, please subscribe. Let us know how we did on the video if you need anything, buy from the links below. It goes back to us. It'll help us buy more equipment to shoot better videos. Also, also. Oh. Hey everyone. We just want to say thanks to our sponsor, Rain Energy, as they have hooked up this video and they have given a free case out for us to give to you. So anyone who leaves a comment in our video gets one entry into our random drawing to win this 12 pack of Mangomatic. Also, if you pre-order a case or pre-order one of the enclosures, whether a single fan or dual fan for SenseCap or Bobcat, you will get an additional five entries into the drawing. These enclosures will be up for sale this week. We'll keep this contest going for two weeks.